It's absolutely the largest economic shift that we'll experience in our lifetime. It's bigger, it's faster, it's far more profitable than anything we've experienced in the past. The market is 95% open for the taking. Let's begin this conversation, this discussion. Greg, why allocate your time for busy professionals in the mobile sector? Well, <clears throat> Dr. Scott, all you have to do is look around. I mean, you go out to any place where the public is, is uh, milling about, and they've constantly got their phone in their hand. And I caught myself today at the License Bureau. I didn't have my keys and, or anything else in my hand as I would have 15 years ago. I had my cell phone in my hand and everywhere you looked around. So I knew that if anybody wanted to reach me at any given point in time, it was going to be on that device. And as I looked around at all the other people, they were all doing the same. So to be able to participate in something that involves mobile, absolutely the sector to be in right now. Greg, it's, it's more than a trend. It's more than a shift. It's truly a global revolution. The last major economic shift in our market was now 18 years ago as our world converged to the Internet and email. And it was a major shift. It completely revolutionized everything, the way that we live, the way that businesses can the way that we connect and communicate. And it seems like yesterday, but Greg, it was 18 years ago. We look at how much technology has increased last 18 years, we're now transitioning to a brand new economy called M-Commerce. And right here, June of 2011, we have the perfect storm for financial returns for any individual looking to create a higher standard of living for themselves and their family. And the great thing is, Greg, looking at the mobile sector, I challenge anyone to go out, ask the next 100 people to name a mobile media marketing firm and you get complete silence. That's where the opportunity lies. Guys, with 95% open market share, with billions upon billions upon billions now transitioning into the mobile sector, we have the ability to revolutionize lives with no end in sight. The next five years in mobile is the place to be. Now, Greg, the next reason, reason number two, and you have absolutely led the entire country in regard to social relevance and application. You know, in today's world, we get so many stories. People tell stories upside, downside, backwards, and forwards. Greg, talk to us about the brands. You know, starting in little old Dayton, Ohio, just talk to us about some of the campaigns of, of entities, brand names, utilizing 90210 to connect and communicate. Yeah, if there's any true testament to uh, you know getting this thing going, we, here we are in Dayton, Ohio, home of the walking wounded. Uh, Yahoo reported us as the fifth emptiest city in America. But I didn't let that stop me. So long as I had a mobile phone in my hand and I had the ability to connect and communicate, I could go reach people. And I could put this brand in front of people who absolutely needed it and people who were absolutely looking for it. So as I approached, and you know, one of my first success stories was, a subby uh, restaurant chain, just a little 15, uh, 15 unit sub shop here in Dayton, Ohio. But what happens is it becomes viral and then other people see it. And rather than me having to go explain what mobile media does, they see others using it and they say, I want what he has. Guys, that's led to McDonald's and Domino's and Papa John's pizzas and Sonic's and Smashburger restaurants and the DHL company. And we have artists and entertainers. We have athletes like Pete Rose that have joined on board with us. Guys, it's a, amazing how many different entities can be exposed. And we, it's kind of like that Facebook phenomenon. You know, you started with one and you shared 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 until you shared it to 600 million people or whatever it is on Facebook today. Guys, that's what this is all about. And what I love about these campaigns is that anybody can take out a calculator and they can see the results. The other key is you see big giant brand names, but we don't go to the big giant brand names headquarters. We go into the local market because in my conversations, for instance, with McDonald's corporate, they said, you're right. McDonald's corporate can't connect with the local customer. It's got to be the local franchise owner who knows when the local baseball team wins the state championship and they can send out a celebratory offer or when the weather's bad that you know they can come in and get a hot bowl of soup or whatever the special of the day is. That's on a restaurant perspective. But being in Dayton, Ohio, you have schools and you have all these entities around that constantly have closing. 
well, they want to be able to communicate to those people about the closing before they get there. So it, it's led to countless, countless campaigns across the country, and it's gratifying that it can start, a lot of them can start from here. But, you know, as we look at the vast opportunity across this country, we're only one phone call away from somebody who's looking for our product. So right now on this webinar, we obviously have individuals on this line from all across the country. Now, obviously, let's just take Subbies in, in little old Dayton, Ohio. They want to build a local channel, not a national channel. As they push out offers, whether it be Domino's, whether it be John Pizza or Subbies or anything else, Greg, really hit home the power of local and mobile because it's so powerful for people to understand, and that's why we don't give out the channel to protect our clients so they can truly build a local following and really connect and communicate with the local community. Yeah, Dr. Scott, it's the only thing that's really measurable. You know, as I look back on, on my career, I spent, you know, time in the beer business and time in sports and entertainment licensed product business. And, yeah, I'd buy traditional ads. I'd buy ads in the newspaper or I'd buy radio time or even television time. But I could never gauge that. Guys, they can 100% calculate the return on investment with mobile. And the other thing is controlling the offer. And the, and the Papa John's example is tremendous. Um, Robert Eggers out of Athens, Georgia, who owns uh, four Papa John's restaurants there, absolutely increased his traffic, guys, by 289% between the hours of 2 and 5. You talk about being able to control the flow of traffic. Now, there are some entities that may never, ever have to send out an offer on a Friday night because they're already busy. But guess what? On that Friday night's when they're going to build. And as they build that database of numbers of people, of people to send their offers to, that's going to be ready to go out on Tuesday night when they're slow. Scott, the, the word is local. It's absolutely local and mobile is, is the connection. And that's what's working so well for us. Yeah, it, it's everything. You know, whether you be the local restaurant, the retail store, the spa, the salon, the, the car dealership, the doctor, the attorney, whoever you are, I don't care who you are, what you do, your relevance and your ability to succeed and thrive in, in any market equates to your ability to effectively communicate who you are along with the product, service, or cause of which you represent. Guys, Everybody, and I mean everybody, you would need to be blind not to recognize the fact that today that is that needs to be done via mobile because it's the only device that people carry with them everywhere. Now, I love speaking of cost efficiency, and I love discussing with entrepreneurs the ability of, of reason number three. It's very, very key in today's world, if you're going into business for yourself, to keep your investments low your overhead low, and your profit potential high. And that's easier said than done. I challenge anyone, go poll the next 10 business owners and ask them how much it costs them to start their business, what's their monthly overhead, how many hours per week they spend building that business, how long it took them to develop any form of profitable return, and most importantly, what's their net, not their gross, their net profit potential on the backside, and you'll be shocked. Guys, when you compare that to what we have here with Isaac, you can start, and not only have our platform for the entire year to better brand you, your company, product, service, or cause, but also to be in business and utilize that very platform to build wealth here in the mobile sector. Our agency promo pack is $448 for the entire year. Our platinum pack is $2,595. That's for unlimited use, along with our Platinum Club, VIP resources, et cetera. But, Greg, you break either of those packages down. Not only are you getting our product, but you're in business with our product for the entire year for what breaks down to as low as $1.23 per day when you annualize it out for the HC promo pack or $7.10 per day for our Platinum package. Greg, talk to us. You've built incredible businesses in sports merchandising and celebrity estates. Talk to us about the need for low investment, low overhead, high profit potential, and why you're so excited that we provide that here with Isaac. Well, for sure, Dr. Scott, and I can speak from experience, you know, in that um, in 1992, I built my business, and it took me $80,000 in borrowed money to build it. It took me 18 months before I could see my first return. Now, granted, I, I ended up building that company to good wealth, and I was able to create a good living for myself, but it was that build that was so... Uh, took so much time, effort, and energy. 
because I'm personally, I'm 48 years old. I have another 17 years in me to build. And I don't have the liquid cash to go invest in the $800,000. I wouldn't go invest it if a volatile economy. And then we look not, not far, far past the headlines to see what, you know, this group specific media did in buying MySpace. My goodness, they bought that for $30 million. Now, that might be a bargain compared to what MySpace is maybe really worth, but look at the work and money that they've dumped into that to get any sort of return. Guys, we can get involved in this company and create return in a very short, compressed time period, a matter of days if you if you set your mind to it. But that's the, the beauty of what we do. Low investment, low overhead, virtually no overhead, and absolute possibility to get massive, massive returns.